Hi everyone. Um, today we'll be talking about uh, how to reset the FMC UI and the CLI password. Um, before we talk about the resetting the password, uh, one thing I want to tell you is FMC UI and CLI passwords are same only when you do the fresh installation. Um, let's say you install the FMC today and um, you set the password XYZ. Uh, you can log into the UI and the CLI with the same password. But in future, if you change the CLI password or you change the UI password, um, they won't be reflected. Let's say if you change the UI password, uh, it will be just for the UI. Your CLI your password will be the same old one. Uh, similarly, if you just um, change the password of the CLI, uh, it won't affect the UI password what you have. So only in the beginning when you install the FMC, the CLI and the UI passwords are same. After that, if you make any other change in any uh, kind of password, be CLI and the UI, uh, it just affects uh, the one which you are changing. Um, so in order to change the CLI password, um, there are a couple of ways. One would be if I run the command pass wd and admin, it will ask me what, you, what is the new password you want to set and I can set it. Um, another one would be, uh, let me just type something. Um, you run the command clash here. Uh, run the command configure password. It will ask you the same thing. So that's how you can change the CLI password for the user admin. Um, if you want to change the uh, UI password, you can change from the UI itself. Uh, for some reason, uh, if you are not able to log into the uh, FMC UI and you want to change the password, there's a CLI command for it. Yeah, let's say it's the username admin and the password is Duncan Fleka. That's uh, and you say change. And that's how you can change the admin password for UI. Um, let's say you want to reset uh, the you know users itself. Uh, there's a command for it. Run the command, and here you can see you no know, reset users to default install. So, this is another way you can reset everything, um, uh, especially all the users, to uh, default install stage. So, yeah, you can use that as well, just in case if you don't know what's going on. Um, there are several other random passwords you have, you don't remember, you want to reset it to default you can leverage this command. Yeah, all right, thank you.